wholeness and balanced vibrations. So I've finally plucked up the courage to do a YouTube video today and it's super exciting because I'm in my brand new car with my gorgeous panoramic roof as I was uh, just doing some more sun gazing this afternoon. And I was just having a little think, because I'm thinking out aloud now, about the whole you know, series of events that we've just had this weekend with the summer solstice, the solar eclipse, and then we're soon to have another lunar eclipse coming up um, around the 5th of July and how so many so much of humanity's uh, ego consciousness is being brought up um, at this moment in time or is being brought up to be removed so as a healer things I see are always brought up to be seen to be removed to move on to let go and create the reality that you really want and this revelation of ego consciousness uh, is actually moving us all to higher levels of consciousness. And in some of my um, learnings that I've had been so uh, fortunate to have had, that there will come a time between the Sati Yuga and the Kali Yuga, there will come a time of the Convalence Age. And this is a, a, a narrow window, um, often known as the Golden Age, where there will be a mass awakening happening on the planet and i certainly feel that this is what is really happening you know at this moment in time but awakening can only happen through love and compassion and so this moment of truth this nilvikalpa samadhi that we are being shown at the moment is asking us that can we really see the other or others through the face of full compassion as in can we see the others as the all is self self with the eyes of compassion and that's not really the two physical eyes that are seeing then it's really really the first eye and we're being prepared for some sort of uh, self-realization um, as a humanity to bring in goodness in the world because when things really really show up as triggers they're actually showing us the elastic band of polarity of how far can you really go to to the opposite extreme that you really don't want this anymore it's enabling us to realize well I don't really want this in my life anymore and this is what I do want in my life and we have to be shown uh, certain opposite polarities in order to realize this within ourselves and it's almost like we're going through a final examination phase of how much can we really embody the omega point the zero point uh, the bindu point the middle point that balanced point of neutrality and as resistance come up as the the field of consciousness is spun faster and faster i don't know if anyone's noticed that time seems to also be speeding up at this moment in time and as we go further towards the eye of the needle we are also faced to look at our own invincible power within our godly consciousness our soul consciousness our creator consciousness our source consciousness whatever name you want to give it it's yours and that we're not really relying on other security dependencies as forms of egoic structures to hold us in place because the only dependable thing that has always been with us is our soul consciousness and you know one thing I have written down in most of my books is I am the light I hold the light the light is within me always but in order to be that light I have fully fully accepted acknowledged encompassed and approved of my very own darkness and seen it as a friend who has come to sit with me and just been with it in its silence in spaciousness and held it and really really held it because everything is part 
of creation. And what this, this process does is it, it creates a vacuum, it creates um, a spaciousness, a space, an emptiness where the cup can be filled. And it's now a time where this cup really does need to be filled with a new order, with a new order of the golden age, with a new order of this convalence age that I'm talking about. And it's we always have access to supreme intelligence because we all have the seed within us otherwise we would not be alive and the only way to really access that is by totally surrendering surrendering to the egoic structure that you become aware of within yourself and really be dedicated really be devoted have it as, a, as such a desire that you want to know your soul consciousness but not a desire of attachment have it as a desire of intention of pure pristine clear cut clarity intention of i'm ready to meet myself i'm ready to meet the god the the creator the source energy within myself and this comes you know there's a lot to be done with this it's a whole purification process of the mind the body the spirit um unpacking these layers like an onion to get to the core to the root to that soul consciousness and we can then start to once we've done that to perceive our reality simply as a soul consciousness reality so we're no longer slaves to our own ego this can only come with surrender and this can only come in a non-dual field which is called in in uh, sanskrit advaita and it is a singular wholeness a singular whole presence embodiment and you can only do this by eliminating the internal fears the internal resistances uh, the internal vices that only you are aware of and you can only be aware of those by really sitting with yourself in silence in nature by a tree on the ground grounding the energies in and spending time that silent quiet still beautiful time in Mohanvrat Mohanvrat meaning silence try it out for 10 minutes a day then go on to an hour a day then go on to two hours a day and build it up and in those silent precious moments you will start to receive more and more and more downloads of yourself because it's coming from your own source consciousness and the ultimate aim is to be totally free to be liberated to be mukti my grandmother's name mukta as instruments of the creator within of the creator consciousness not as instruments of the egoic consciousness which is the external it's the facade it's the mask it's the roles it's the role play but that's not who you really are your pure consciousness you are pure light you are pure love and it's so it's very much like a, a repair that's going on of your own consciousness returning to itself and it's something I said to my children the other day can you share more of me with me are you able to share more of me more and more of me with me because that field that whole expansive field that whole morphogenetic field is infinite because you are infinite because we are infinite in this all is self in the entire unified field of consciousness and this non-duality is the truth that zero point is the truth 
That is when the masculine and the feminine come together as one, within as without, in the micro as the macro. And so overcoming your own vices, your own darkness within, by meeting it, by being with it, by greeting it, by accepting it, allows you to be an instrument of as a, a, a noble sovereign being, as a, a beacon of light and not a weakness of the egoic mind. Because that is not the truth. That is simp simple maya, that is a, an illusion. It's not who you truly, truly are. And so I invite you to take this time, take this space to be with yourself during periods of what we're all facing at the moment, having to spend more time at home, having to um, be with members of the family for longer periods of time than normal. And, and have this discipline, be a disciple of your soul consciousness. That's where the word discipline even comes from. Being a disciple of your own soul consciousness. We're being, we're being given a chance as humanity at this moment to do that so that you can then open the door of your heart and align that with your mind and come into heart and mind coherence through your own silent meditation, concentrating on your breath, which I teach in my workshops. And the more you do this, it, it becomes like brushing your teeth, it becomes a habit. And you then start to decrease your egoic structure or your anger or your frustration that you're feeling because anger can often be used as a force to overcome and sublimate an ego. But there is nothing to be suppressed when you're free. When you're free, there's nothing there. It's pure, empty space. And that's who we really, really are. So are you ready to meet yourself? More and more and more? It's your choice. In every moment you have a choice. Every moment is called a presence. It is a gift to you. There's only the now. There's only one creator. Many paths, one creator. But there's only the now. And what you give out is what you will receive. And there will always be change. So embrace that change. Embrace it. Be with it. Be one with it. Don't fight it. Because you're only fighting yourself. And then this tremendous power, internal power will come over you where you'll go into a state of being, of peace, of tranquility, of silence, transcending the ego structure. And you'll want more and more and more of this beautiful, delicious, juicy, yummy soul consciousness to envelop you, to fill you up, to fill your cup up. Now the best time to do this is first thing in the morning. And the, the first thing in the morning, meaning from four o'clock to five o'clock in the morning, which is called Amrit Vela. Amrit meaning the nectar, the nectar, the soma that is coming down from your brain into you. And it fills you at that time. And all you have to do is sit in your silence. Just concentrate on your breath. If you'd like to chant a mantra like Om, you can chant that. If you'd like to go out for a walk, as the world is waking up and the birds are waking up, do that. You have a choice. But spend that time with yourself to start filling your cup in your silence. And start observing yourself like a distant observer 
soberly observing yourself, being impartial to the self, not giving this body consciousness an importance of this is me. This is the vehicle I've chosen to carry this consciousness in, but this, this is not me. It's a vehicle that my soul has chosen in this time and this space. Yes, I keep it as pure as I can, but it's not the most important thing in my reality. And what this allows you to do is to bring yourself back into that neutrality, into that neutral, you know, when you swing a pendulum, the pendulum stays in the middle at the point of balance, at the point of wholeness. And this allows you to graduate into higher levels of your avatar being. Just simply through your own presence. And all you have to do at that time is smile and take a breath. Because even smiling is sending signals to your brain. Just smile and take a breath. Close your eyes if you wish to close yourself off from any external noise. And be with this moment. Just be with yourself. And when you are there, ask yourself, what would love do in this situation right now? How would love react, respond in this situation right now. Because true love is unconditional. True love is neutral. It's not biased. It just is. And that is your soul consciousness. That is who you truly are. So don't you think you need to meet yourself as it is your birthright? <sighs> I'm now going to chant the sacred mantra that simply means may all beings know peace and tranquility in all dimensions and I invite you to just close your eyes you can even place your hands on your heart take a deep breath in and out through the nose in a circular breath with no gap between the in breath and the out breath. And simply listen to this mantra. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu May all beings know peace in all dimensions. Wholeness and balanced vibrations. <sighs> 